See, so I want to tell you a couple things about me that you don't know. Since you always say I never share anything about my, my personal life, well, here you go. So listen up. Um, I guess 15 to 18 years ago, I, um, I took some classes for gunsmithing. I got certified in gunsmithing. I started taking on jobs. Um, and I, I worked as a gunsmith for a couple of years. I don't do that anymore. Now I just do it for fun and as a hobby and I just work on my own things. But my uh, it all started with my grandfather. He was a gu lifelong gunsmith. I learned from him. I liked it, blah, blah, blah. So I know a couple things about firearms. Um, I know a couple things about tolerances, what makes them work, what makes them malfunction. So you're right. That video that you were watching was right. A bad magazine causes most malfunctions in guns. A lot of times people are having malfunctions. It's a feeding problem. But here's the thing. And here's why the sky is a piece of shit. Because you shouldn't have to go buy a brand new gun. You should be able to buy a brand new gun and have it fire right out of the box. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to buy a gun and put pins in it. Put different magazines in it. Uh, put other than OEM parts in them. You know, that, that shouldn't be like that. The sky is a piece of shit. The sky is going to get somebody killed one day. And the proof is all over the internet. You know, because I care about other people's safety, here's what I recommend that you do. You take that gun and you send it back to Sky, and you explain to Sky that this gun is defective. Much like you, Cecil, your gun is defective and it's, it's, it's fucked up beyond all repair. So send that gun back, tell them to either refund you or give you a new gun that works, but I wouldn't even go that route because Sky's a piece of shit. You're not gonna get a good one. Um, or, just fucking destroy the gun because with your little bit of knowledge, lack of training, you're never going to be able to get that gun to fire reliably. Um, I was watching, <clears throat> I was watching your the way that you managed uh, the recoil. I was watching, I was watching your grip. I was watching your your finger control. You slapped the fuck out of that trigger. You know, you you don't you don't prep the trigger before you shoot. Um, you got a long way to go before you should really be feeling comfortable about carrying a gun every day. A firearm is a responsibility. It's not like you buy one and then oh, automatically you're a, you're an expert with them and you just start carrying it. I believe that you should you should train once a week. I think you should fire your weapon if you're going to carry it every day and put your life. Um, if you're going to protect your life with it, you you should you should take the initiative to train at least once a week. I say twice a week. Um, and then maybe as time goes on, you can train a little bit less, but uh, my experience with shooting is if you don't if you don't use it, you lose it very quick, meaning you gotta keep up on practicing with the thing, you know? But you're a fucking idiot. I don't think you'll ever take any advice, good advice for you from anybody because you're a fucking idiot. Um, I do believe you're going to end up shooting yourself one day on, you know, an accidental discharge. I really do think that, um, I don't know. I just watch you, I just see you posting all these firearm videos and it's like, it makes me worried. It makes me worried for the people around you. And, and I don't even want to get into how you store your firearms. Um, it's comical. It's comical. You'd be better off just hiding the fucker somewhere. I mean, I don't know. I don't fucking know. But <clears throat> that's my soapbox rant for the day. Thanks, guys.